ClickUp Features Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you all the features available on ClickUp. So let's get started. The link for ClickUp is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out right now. So once you sign up for ClickUp, this is where you will get. Today we will be focusing on our main panel that we get on ClickUp and I'll show you Home, Notification, Pulse, Goals, Space, Dashboard and Documents. So let's start with our main menu right here, which is Home, Notification, Pulse, Goals and Others. So on home, this is our basic home where I will be able to check my trending tasks and my work as well. So in home, we just get a basic overview of our workspace on ClickUp and we can see our calendar, agenda and mentions. So if you have been mentioned, you will be able to check your mentions here. Then we have our agenda that we can create and we're also getting a calendar right here for easy access. So on home, we actually don't work a lot, we just get an overview. And if you want notifications, then you can simply go to notification here. And here you will be able to get all the notification of your task that you have, pending task, overdue task and more. We can also enable our desktop notifications if we want and even in our application. From here, I can actually clear a notification, the one I have read or I can double check to clear all of these different notifications. So this is like a simple notification area where I will be able to check my new and cleared notification. We can also filter with assigned to me, mentions, and then we have clear all and settings. So here, if you are looking for a new notification, you will simply go to this option. Moving on, we have pulse. Now, Pulse is a very unique feature available on ClickUp. It is also known as Live Overview. Pulse is a feature where we can see which of our team member is online and how they are doing the work. So it will give us an overview of what they are working on. For example, I can search any of my team member from here and then it will show me how many tasks they have, if they are online and what time they are working. We can also check our different time here and we can check how many users are active on what time. We can also check different guests if we have any and then we also get our permissions here and pulse settings. So this is like our live overview where you can go and check who is online and who is working on which task and how many members are total in active. Click up goals. Then we have goal option right here. Now goal is very simple where we can create different goals and organize them in order to keep our progress in check. To create a new goal, you can click on this option right here or click on new goal here. Once you click on it, then you have to give your goal a name. Let's just go ahead and type in the name for our goal. Click OK or enter. Then we can actually add assignees here and owners and then we can select a workspace if it's going to be your workspace or your private workspace so i'm going with private and then we can select an end date this is going to be our due date and end date for our goal we can also go ahead and add description for our goal and we can also add different commands with slash so i am going with a checklist once you're done, you will click on OK. So this way we can add a goal into our ClickUp. And this is one of my goals and it will show me my progress in percentage. I can also go ahead and check it from here. There you go. We can also set a target if we like. And in a target, I am going with half. And then again, we can add an assignee and select type of target number true or false currency or task so i am going with numbers in numbers i'm going with 1 to 50. select ok and a new target will be added right here so now we have a goal and we have target within so this way we can add targets in our ClickUp, which will help us get more organized and help us get more productive and creative Moving on, we have our spaces right here. 
So if I click on spaces, it will show me all of my spaces available on ClickUp. So we have this space right here, this one, this and these different spaces. We can create a new space with new space option here. And now I can give my space a name. Let's call it test. Click on next and it will allow you to select an avatar or color. So I'm going to select this one right here and this. Then we can select if it's going to be a private workspace or a workspace with other people. So I'm going to click on next. Then we can select different statuses for our different lists that we are going to be creating. Keep in mind, we can also use different templates. If you are creating a content workspace, then maybe you can use a content template from here, which has already different statuses created for you. So let's go with a content work template. Click on next and now we can select different options from here, such as due date, time tracking, different features that you want in your workspace. Click on next and then we can select from different views. We have more than 10 views available on ClickUp. So I'm going to go ahead and select these views here and you can review your workspace. And this is how my workspace will be created. Click on create space and you have a brand new workspace on ClickUp. All of your workspaces will be shown right here and you can switch between different workspaces. Keep in mind the data and different tasks you create in workspace cannot be integrated into each other and they will be separated into different boards and different tasks and list in each different spaces. We can also add favorite spaces and they will be found right here in my favorite section. Moving on, we have dashboard. Now dashboard is actually a pretty basic view we will be getting on ClickUp. If you create a dashboard, that means you will be able to create different workspaces within a dashboard. And you will be able to create different tasks and check your task list. If you want to edit your dashboard, you can go ahead and edit from editing option here. You will get filter, research and more. If you just want to go with the view mode, then you can go with this one. We can add different widgets into our workspace, such as task list, calculation, time reporting, portfolio. Then we have tags, assignees, priorities and more. So this is how you create a dashboard within your ClickUp. You can create more than one dashboard if you like. Similarly, we have documents on ClickUp. Now, document is a new feature available on ClickUp. With documents, we get our own document right here on ClickUp and we don't even need to go to our Google Docs or our Word to create a new document. So this helps us save a lot more time and as we were using ClickUp for all of the different features and tools and we eliminate the hassle of switching between different applications, similarly, we can now go ahead and create a document within ClickUp. So creating a document is really easy. You click on create new and then it's really simple how you do it on Google Docs. And I can type in a new document right here, add description, we have share option, I can add tags, we have comments, we have trade document, then we have document settings, and we can also use different tools such as page details, alignments, and text and templates. So this way you will be able to create a very professional document within ClickUp and you can also go ahead and assign it to someone if you like. It will also show you your author name and then we can add more than one pages if we prefer. We will also be able to share a document with share option given here and then we can also add it to our favorites. This way you will be able to create a document and it will be found right here with all of your other documents. Then we have basic features such as all assigned to me and shared. If you go to assign to me, it will show you all of the documents that were assigned to you. And then at the end of the page, you get your workspaces where you can switch between your workspaces very easily. So yeah, guys, I hope that I was a big help. And now you know the basic of ClickUp, different features that we get and how to use them. The link for ClickUp is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out right now. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.